Shane White, and this is The Process. Hey gang, Shane Patrick White here with another edition of The Process. On today's process, we're doing another rare book tour. This time it is the famous French cartoonist Jean-Henri Gaston Girard. I think that's how you say it. My French is a little rusty. He's also better known as Mebius. The book we're touring today is a book called Transform. It was part of an exhibition that was put on in France that my friends got to see. And since I wasn't able to go over there, they picked me up this really beautiful coffee table book of the exhibition. So if you've never seen his work, uh, I think this would have been just mind blowing because they took a lot of his Blueberry and Arzac and Airtight Garage and blew them up into these wall size uh, murals that were just stunning. I mean, seeing photos of it later, it was just like, man, I wish I had known. I would have tried to fly over there for it, but hey, at least I got this sweet book. Anyways, it's not easy to get a hold of. I think if you find it anywhere, uh, maybe at Stuart Ng Books, it's around four. 400 to 600 dollars so why not share it with the world and give everyone a taste of what we all missed the wikipedia entry for jean-henri gaston girard is uh, ex- very extensive and i'm only going to do a small excerpt of it just because it would be just so exhausting to go, to go through the guy has had so much uh influence on films and comics and he's done so much work apparently he's he's a really fast artist and or was a really fast artist and so it goes to show that you can put out a lot of work if you got the speed on your side Here's uh, the wiki entry that I was able to cull down to something manageable. Jean-Henri Gaston Girard was born on May 8, 1938. He was a French artist, cartoonist, and writer who worked in the Franco-Belgian Bande de Dessinée BD tradition. Girard garnered worldwide acclaim under the pseudonym Mebius, as well as Gur outside the English-speaking world used for the Blueberry series, his most successful creation in the non-English-speaking parts of the world, and his Western-themed paintings. Esteemed by Federico Fellini, Stan Lee, Ayo Miyazaki, among others, he has been described as the most influential Bande Dessinée artist after Hergé. His most famous works include the series Blueberry, created with writer Jean-Michel Chalier, featuring one of the first anti-heroes in Western comics. As Mebius, he created a wide range of science fiction and fantasy comics in highly imaginative, surreal, almost abstract style. These works include Arzak and the airtight garage of Jerry Cornelius. He also collaborated with avant-garde filmmaker Alejandro Jodorowsky for an unproduced adaption of Dune and the comic book series The Incal. Mebius also contributed storyboards and concept designs to numerous science fiction and fantasy films such as Alien, Tron, The Fifth Element, and The Abyss. Blueberry was adapted for the screen in 2004 by French director Jean Cunin. Jean Girard was born in nogent sur marne val de marne in the suburbs of Paris on the 8th of May, 1938. As the only child to Raymond Girard, an insurance agent, and Pauline Vinchon, who had worked at the agency. When he was three years old, his parents divorced and he was raised mainly by his grandparents, who were living in the neighboring municipality of fontenay sous bois Garoud returned to live in the municipality in the mid-1970s, but was unable to buy his grandparents' house. The rupture between mother and father created a lasting trauma that he explained lay at the heart of his choice of separate pen names. Young Garoud found a solace after World War II in a small theater, located on a corner in the street where his mother lived, which concurrently provided an escape from the dreary atmosphere in post-war Reconstruction-era France. Playing an abundance of American B-movie westerns, Gerard frequenting the theater there as often as he was able to, developed a passion for the genre, as did so many other European boys his age in those times. At age 10, Gerard started to draw western comics while enrolled by his single mother as a stopgap measure in the St. Nicholas boarding school in Issy-Aïs Molyneux for two years, and where he became acquainted with Belgian comic magazines such as Spirou and Tintin, much to the amusement of his schoolmates. In 1954, at age 16, he began his only technical training at the École Supérieure des Arts Appliquées du Père, where he started producing Western comics, though these did not sit well with his conservative teachers. 
At the college, he befriended other future comic artists, Jean-Claude Messiers and Pat Mallet, with Messiers in particular, in no small part due to their shared passion for science fiction, westerns in the far west, Girard developed a close, lifelong friendship, calling him life's continuing adventure in later life. In 1956, he left art school without graduating to visit his mother, who married a Mexican in Mexico, and stayed there for nine months. The experience of the Mexican desert in particular, its endless blue skies and unending flat plains, now seeing and experiencing for himself the vistas that had enthralled him so much when watching westerns on the silver screen only a few years earlier, left an everlasting something which literally cracked my soul enduring impression on him, easily recognizable in almost all of his later seminal works. After his return to France, he started to work as a full-time tenured artist for Catholic publisher Fleurus Press, to whom he was introduced by Mezier, who had shortly before found employment at the publisher. In 1959 to 1960, he was slated for military service in, firstly, the French occupation zone of Germany and, subsequently, Algeria. Fortunately for him, however, he somehow managed to escape frontline duty as he, being the only serviceman available at the time with a graphics background, served out his military obligations being set to work as an illustrator on the army magazine, 55 Forces Francaise, besides being assigned to logistics duties. Algeria was Gerald's second acquaintance with other, more exotic cultures, and like he did in Mexico, he soaked in the experience, which made another indelible impression on the young man born as a suburban city boy, leaving its traces in in his later comics, especially those created as Mebius. Girard's working methods were various and adaptable, ranging from etchings, white and black illustrations, to work in color of the Lynn Claire genre and watercolors. Girard's solo blueberry works were sometimes criticized by fans of the series because the artist dramatically changed the tone of the series as well as the graphic style. However, Blueberry's early success was also due to Garao's innovations, as he did not content himself with following earlier styles, an important aspect of his development as an artist. To distinguish between work by Garaud and Mebius, Garaud used a brush for his own work and a pen when he signed his work as Mebius. Garaud was known for being an astonishingly fast draftsman. His style has been compared to the nouveau realists exemplified in his turn from the battlerized realism of Urge's Tintin towards a grittier style depicting sex, violence, and moral bankruptcy. Aided with the use of mind-expanding substances in the first part of his career, Garad had cultivated various New Age-type philosophies throughout his career such as Guy Claude Berger's Instincto Therapy, which influenced his creation of the comic book series Le Monde d'Edena. However, he dispensed with the use of drugs for the time being himself, though not condemning them, quite the contrary, as Girard considered them a gateway to a hidden dream world ever since he was introduced in 1974 to the writings of Carlos Castaneda, and having started again with the use of marijuana in the last decade of his life, after a long abstinence. However, it also negatively influenced his relationship with Philippe Charlier, heir and steward of his father's Blueberry co-creation and legacy, who had no patience whatsoever with Girard's New Age predilections, particularly for his admitted fondness for mind-expanding substances. As 50% brand co-owner, Charlier Jr. has vetoed several later Blueberry project proposals by Girard, the aforementioned Blueberry 1900 project in particular, precisely for these reasons, as they were to prominently feature Castaneda-inspired, substance-induced scenes, going even as far as to successfully threaten Girard with a lawsuit to thwart his intentions. In the documentary Metamebius, he claims his different styles may stem from his short-sightedness. When drawing without glasses, he is more attuned to fine details, but disconnected from the external world. But when drawing with glasses on, he does not get into details, but is more aware of the big picture. He often starts with glasses on to have a global perspective, then later continues without glasses. Girard died in Montreux on 10th of March 2012 at age 73, after a long battle with cancer. The immediate cause of death was pulmonary embolism caused by a lymphoma. Fellow comic artist Francois Bouc, incidentally the artist pegged by Girard in person for the artwork of the cancelled Blueberry 1900 project, stated that Mebius was a master of realist drawing with a real talent for humor, which he was still demonstrating with the nurses when I saw him in the hospital bed a fortnight ago. Girard was buried on 15th of March in the Montparnasse Cemetery after the funeral services held in the Saint-Clotilde Basilica. 
Many friends and representatives from the Franco-Belgian comic world and beyond attended the services, mirroring Gerard's entire career in the industry. The French government was represented by its Minister of Culture, Frédéric Mitterrand, nephew of the former president of France, François Mitterrand, who had personally awarded Gerard with his first civilian knighthood 27 years earlier. Gerard left his estate to his second wife, Isabel, and his four children. As always, thanks for watching. And also, don't forget to subscribe to The Process. And please, if you have more questions, feel free to leave a comment below.